Looking at Apple here today on the daily time frame, we are looking at it making a brand new weekly high here. You can see that today we just soared above the weekly supply level that we had from 112.39 down to 106. All right, we just busted through that over the past couple days and, and really gave us a nice little uh, close above that point and uh, now we're we're looking up higher so as we look up higher we can see a daily uh, supply level up there that's been bounced on a few different times so it's a little bit weaker okay and uh, above us let's let's look at what we have there as far as the weekly levels go just so that we can anticipate what we can find and where we can find resistance at so now that we uh, put on the weekly zones on top of our chart you can see that the next weekly level is up here at 119 up to 123 so we're looking for this uptrend to continue up to where those two levels uh, coincide together but now let's look at a little bit of support and resistance that we may have coming into play here alright so right now at the uh, excuse me the 115 up to 116 almost 117 level we have a four hour supply level all right that's going to act as some resistance and what I'm expecting to have happen is for price to come down here to this nice little aqua level that it that it reformed here on the four hour time frame at roughly the 112 give us a nice little bounce and then push higher again that's what I like to see if this trend is, is truly rocking and rolling uh, nice little retracement here maybe uh, over the weekend and then uh, find a, our support down here right around the 112 area and another push to the upside into the weekly level now is this going to happen all over the next couple days or next week I, I really don't know okay but uh, something like this could start to take place so that's what we're looking to have happen over the next few weeks looking at Tesla this week we can see that uh, Tesla's at wholesale prices ladies and gentlemen now's the right time to be buying your brand new Tesla car well maybe not quite because right now it says it's only for $195 and I'm pretty sure that Tesla goes for or a Tesla car goes for a little bit more than a $195 but now if you're looking to buy stock in Tesla now wouldn't be a bad time to purchase some and uh, over the past few days here actually the past week we've seen a lot of consolidation inside of this purple zone here that's been bounced on a couple times all right and uh, we're looking for price to come up and tell us how strong this level truly is now the other interesting thing is we formed a new weekly demand level off of this daily zone okay and we've also formed a new weekly supply level off of uh, the 20 or excuse me the 240 level down to the 203 level so these two zones are now overlapping all right and we want to be careful as we look at Tesla and I'm thinking that with all this consolidation coming in here again we need to have price action confirm what we do and when we do it but I'm looking for us to bounce to the upside before we go any lower now our elite software says that we are down and trending so where are we going to find resistance and, and that's a good question we could find resistance right here but overall I know that we're in a, a low area so I don't want to sell when we're in a low area in fact I want to wait until we're at a high area so let's look at some of the active zones that we have here on our four hour time frame and in my mind this area right here is what I'm really keen on the which is 210.52 up to 213 I'm looking for price to retrace up into that level before it makes another move to the downside 
as the software is saying that we are trending down right now okay so I would like to see a retracement happen uh, this week maybe next week too and we will see how it goes from there mm -hmm.